So I had a misunderstanding of sorts yesterday. I felt like talking a little about. <laughs> and I. So I go on Phoenix University online, I go to online school. And there was something a little bit ago, like last week, about the teacher made a mention of how we didn't have to do our discussion board replies that we have to do that week because she wants us to focus on her paper. And I don't know why, but I had, you know, the thought that what the teacher meant was our team paper. Because, you know, sometimes we'll have a team paper one week and not have an individual paper. And I don't know why, but I just connected that that's what she meant and that we didn't have to have an individual paper that week. So didn't even check the syllabus, didn't even check the assignments. If I had, I would have realized I had a whole other paper to do, but I didn't. And I, I thought I understood what she meant, but I misunderstood it. And I realized last night that I have a 1,000 page, 1,000 word paper due, and I hadn't even begun it yet. And I just thought, you got to be kidding me. How, how, how could I have been so dumb about that? I mean, I'm so, I'm normally so careful about this, but that's the thing is that, you know, having Asperger's in, when you misunderstand things, you're so sure that you know what it is that you think something meant, <laughs> but like, no, <laughs> you get it wrong. I got it very wrong. But the thing is, you know, I'll probably end up getting a C or B in the class anyway, I think, because I did everything else, great scores, whatever. But, and I sent the teacher kind of an apology, letting, letting him know I wasn't trying to slack off. Like, this is what happened. But not blaming him at all, of course, it was totally all my fault. But this isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened to me, but it's gotten less now that I'm an adult. 26 now. I I, I kind of compare it to a different time where I was at in and out Burger and we had a Christmas dinner, a breakfast, and we all got a free meal for being in this breakfast. We all got a free Christmas present. It was a CD book that year. And my one of my managers said some kind of joke about how they, the the food comes out of our check, right? And I took them seriously, and that's why I didn't order any food. I this is gross, but I ended up eating two of my managers' leftover food because they were just gonna throw it away. They had a lot of food left. I don't like wasting food, even though that's yucky. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, but uh, yeah, I come home and I there my brother Philip and my mom were asking me about it and um. I mentioned what happened, and my mom says, he was kidding. That's really too bad, David. You could have had a free breakfast, and I just think, oh my gosh, he was kidding. I totally took him seriously. And it's the same thing with the teacher, you know. We want to give you time to work on your papers this week. I, for some reason, I took that to mean team paper, as if there was an individual paper, and I didn't bother to double-check. And, you know, I'll pass the class and everything, but I won't get an A, I don't think. But it's, it's all right, whatever. But... It's just that kind of thing. It's a it's a literal misunderstanding. You know, you take something at face value. And when I was young, I was incredibly gullible because of this. Like, you just... You think you know something, but you don't know something. You, someone would tell me the most bogus lie, and I would always believe it, because there's always just that, that jump of thinking you understand something that you don't understand. And it's also for this reason that I didn't, I didn't do well at tests, especially in my later years, you know, I, multiple choice, I remember especially like around sixth grade, always taking way too long a test, being the last one done with the test, and double checking all my answers. There's been at least like twice in my life where a teacher was like gonna like, I think let me take the test home both times just because they didn't feel like waiting around because the rest of the students weren't there. That's how I was. I overanalyzed. I got the wrong literal representation of things. I wanted to overthink every single question. A lot of the times I misunderstood what something actually meant and that's why 
testing for an Asperger's person, especially myself, it's hard. That's why I go to a school that doesn't do tests. I go to Phoenix University online because uh, I tried and tried and tried other routes and it just wasn't happening for my bachelor's. You know, eventually I finally had to quit and find something that would work. It's expensive, but at least it doesn't do tests. But I wanted to explain that a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to explain that teacher's frustration with me not being able to do tests, thinking I'm lazy when that wasn't it. It was like, you just can't comprehend things exactly the way that people are expected to, you know. When I was young, I was always asked to read because I was a good reader. Um, always one of the lead parts in the plays when we were reading the parts in English class. And yet, I couldn't pass a test that everybody else seemed to be able to pass with certain classes. But I'm hoping this can shed a little light on why things get mixed up, even though we might appear intelligent. And it's hard when people don't get something and we have difficulty explaining it. So it's important when examples come up that Asperger's people can share them, you know, because if nobody does, <laughs> nobody's going to get anything. It sucks when, when parents and teachers get frustrated about things that they don't get with an Asperger's kid. But anyway, I hope that, I hope that's helpful. <laughs> Thank you.